Children don't need sport, but they do need movement. Movement is the prerequisite for sport, and movement is the prerequisite for physical, mental and spiritual development. Movement is a basic need. Without movement, there is no development. Here is the lever you use to go up and down. You can let yourself drop and then come up again. That's cool, I think. It's better than sitting on a hard chair that doesn't move. Even if we tilted on our old chairs, it was still uncomfortable for our backs. When you're writing a dictation, you can lean forward if you want to, not like the others that don't move. You have a little bit of room at the back. I think these chairs are better than the hard ones. It's dead boring having to sit on one of those inflexible chairs. I always feel so stiff and my back hurts as well. We now know why leaning back is so important for children and fundamental as well. And this synaptic switching is encouraged by movement. The natural urge to move, which you particularly see in the younger classes, is where we need the chairs to be, in the true sense of the word, more flexible. If you observe over a morning, you can see it does aid the ability to concentrate. Plus, in my opinion, the continually increasing noise level is also slightly reduced. These slight changes in motion have such an immense influence on neuropsychological processes firstly on the circulation and the synaptic connections. Then, an immediate increase in hormonal and metabolic levels can all be initiated by these simple movements. I can well imagine that older students, who may be seated in one morning through up to eight or nine lessons, would find that a change in sitting position makes it easier to concentrate for longer. Then, they would not need to slide backwards and forwards all the time. <laughs> 